All right. Can you hear us? We are live. Welcome back to another Animation Process Tuesday. Forgot what day it was already. Tuesday, I'm here with Benny Jordan, famous comic book and animator. Famous. And, uh, famous. I don't think so. We're, yes, we're very, we are <laughs> here. <laughs> Let me edit this real quick. So today we, we did the uh, character concepts. Um, Not all of them. Did you have an update? Well, we only did one concept for, for the character, and then we got to go over your script today. And um, I have a uh, couple suggestions. And then, uh, I mean, you've got other characters in that script, so we still have to do concepts for these characters. That's true. We do have other characters in this. All right. Well, let's go over the script. The Head Ninja says, hello, Benny. We got El Poco in the chat as well. Uh, if you are watching, sound off. Can they and, sound uh, off? <laughs> everyone's saying hello to Benny. Hello, <laughs> Benny. Hey, y'all. Good to see you. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I am Jason Doobie, comic book artist, writer, publisher. And I'm here to learn, just are, like you, about how you to feeling, animate. Are you feeling left out in the greetings? <laughs> no. I just, I have these, I have, I have this little like note here of how to start off my show. <laughs> it says, introduce guests. Oh, uh, I love to grab some throat lozenges. <laughs> He's leaving. <laughs> and then I'm just to introduce myself because not everyone knows who I am either. <laughs> no, there's a, there's a, there's, there's a protocol of how you're supposed to start these shows. So I'm trying to be more professional. That's all. Oh, I know. What do I know? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Wow, that's that's nice. Is that for me? Yeah, that was for you. <laughs> All right, so let's go over. And I know we did get, uh, I did get a concept design uh, from our last show. So let me grab that real quick while you're while you go over the script, I guess. Well, um, let me. Do I have it up? Where is what did I do with it? Let's do this. Let me pull. There we go. Uh, short script. Okay. So. So I did a short script. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Uh. Let me. Sh I'll share my screen and then uh, I'll read through it. Um, oh, ninja. Share. All right. Oh yeah, let me, okay, I have to add this, hold on. One second, there is a process to this, and I see the Starship Enterprise. <coughs> Starship Enterprise? Oh, I saw <laughs> your, your, your uh, desktop. Oh, my L-Cars theme. All right. So I'll read through it and then I'll show, I'll, I'll, we'll talk about, we'll talk, you know, we'll talk about it, I'll go through our, my suggestions. Um, all right. So exterior shot, pan in slowly to a bar sitting in the slum of downtown purgatory, which I believe we're going to be calling new purg, new purgatory. Okay. Uh, we watch a small trench coat silhouette shape of Hudson Grimes going into the door bar. Okay. Before I make any other suggestions or comments, I'll just read through it. Okay, interior shot of bar. The bar is dark, smoky, and full of undead civilians. Uh, Hudson walks through the riffraff unfazed of the scene around him. <clears throat> Hudson sits on a bar stool. Bartender walks up. What will it be? The usual? Hudson. That's right, Jack. Hudson now swivels slightly to, the, to survey the bar. He gaze, his gaze pauses on a gorgeous undead dame across the room who is coincidentally looking in his direction. Not breaking the connection, a glass of bourbon is placed next to him. The dame, lift her, the dame lifts her glass to him, and with a tilt of his head, Hudson picks his glass up. Piano music is being played, and the, and the dame walks over to the man playing it. Hudson motions to Jack. Who's the dame? Jack. She's just arrived today. Best steer clear till she gets acclimated. You know how unstable the new ones are. Hudson watches her as she poses on the piano, trying to care 
try trying to careful, trying to be careful as she looks back at Hudson. Hudson, I don't think oh, she uh, needs time to acclimate. Piano player, singer, piano player, singer motions to to motions to her to sing. Dramatic close up of Dame's spotlight on face, and then she opens her lips or her mouth to sing. And the loudest, most horrible croaking bellow comes out. Hudson slowly turns away and back to the bar. His face looks as if he's just been through a war. Another Jack, make it a double. <laughs> That's the gag. All right. So, minor things. Um, I would like. So this is this is. Um, I don't think I need to share this any longer. Uh, so let me. I'll just move this because we're already sharing my screen. Okay. Um. So. Are we sharing my screen? No, there we go. Oh yeah, I was I was working on the concept. Um, I want this to be almost like um, so the 1930s, 1940s noir films uh, where the the PI kind of narrates. So what I what I'm thinking is before the interior of the the bar, we have him walking kind of kind of side scroll right, and he might be center. And we have the, the the background scrolling, and it's like a just kind of detail of almost a uh, old 1930s, 40s New York with our New Perg uh, characterizations to it. And he might be narrating, not necessarily speaking, but narrating what New Purgatory, you know, but uh, uh, name Susan Grimes, you know, I'm a P.I., a, a, a New Purgatory, um, and he goes on to explain what New Purgatory is, and uh, I'm looking for this, you know, I'm supposed to meet this dame, blah, 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 right? He goes through all that. Then, that's when we cut to the interior, he walks in. And that's, that's like, the main, the main thing I was thinking about. I mean, okay. that, so you, because normally you want to start off with a establishing shot of the, of the environment, but you want to start right. off a little bit differently where it's... Well, it is. See, it is an establishing shot of the environment. It's it's showing... See, the scrolling is showing uh, some of what New Purgatory is, New Purg is, and he's explaining. So if we just cut to the interior of the bar, um, people are like wondering why, you know, why these characters look a little different, why they look the way they look. Sure, some look yeah. like they've been murdered, you know. But we can explain while he's walking and see the side scrolling background is showing detail of New Purg. And so I, I'm, I'm thinking New Purgatory could be a character in itself, right? Um, not necessarily speaking or, or anything like that, but the, the city has character. So we okay. show the, the, the exterior as he's, as he's walking by, giving his narration. We already. This is where we establish the the noir feel, um, the film noir feel. Okay. Um, Let me grab then, my script and um, might as well be putting that together. Yeah, and um, and this is then that narration we can use a lot of the nineteen thirties forties lingo, um, and the the really the only other. Th main comment is I don't want him wearing a, a trench coat or dust or anything because that hides a lot of I want I want his character to, his form to be a character also so plus animating a trench coat while he's walking is a pain in the ass I don't want to do that <laughs> yeah I thought it'd be easier since he didn't have to show his legs no you always tell me that walking is the hardest part to draw uh, you know if like when we were working that's different but for this, I mean, I want to put some time into this. You know, I, just, I don't want to just whip it out. I want to, want to put some time into it. But uh, I want his, his, I want to give his walk some character. I mean, it, we're not going to be showing a full body walk anyway. It's, I'm thinking this might be, we might show him uh, full, full, uh, full body and then close in on him, you know, zoom in on him to where it's like mid shot. And he's he's walking side scrolling. That's where he's given the narration, right? And then and then he comes up. At the the scrolling background comes. 
stops right in front of the bar and we can give it um it's called a bar hub 56 right bar Use hub it. 56 okay. oh, just just hub 56 you know and and it's you know that that's that title is taken from another one of my other ideas i'm just throwing this out there but say we, we stop at the bar we show him about to go in we cut and when we're on the interior the, the interior of the bar and he comes in um i have uh the head ninja his character that he did for from the last week yeah show it i have it up on screen right now oh, is that it? yeah okay what's the idea behind this character Head Ninja, that's you. Leave us a comment about uh, leave, or get in the is, chat. Is this is this an idea for a character for uh, that might be uh, seen in the uh, new Purg, new Purgatory? Yeah, is this a, is this a character that you'd like to include in this animation that we're working on, or is this something that you're working on? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Maybe I should give him the invite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, throw him the invite. Why not? So, but with the with that said, anyway, until we hear back from Head Ninja on that character, um, we've got basically four main characters that that we need to do some animating for, which is. Um, uh, Hudson, the dame, the piano player, which I'm thinking is like See, this. I called her the dame because you didn't, we didn't have a name yet. Yeah, right. I felt weird <laughs> just calling her the dame the whole time. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll come up with something. I mean, she's, so she's, she, I'm thinking she, he's meeting her there for some reason. He's, he's given the, he's been given this, I mean, we might not explain this in the animation, but I'm, it's just in my head. He's been given this like uh, ominous note about some some job that this uh, uh, you know potential client wants him to do, which is the dame, right? So we have we have HUD, we have the dame, we have Jack the bartender, and then we have the piano player, right? Those are four main characters we need to animate. Um, right. We Next will have character. background characters, but those those might be just you know some minor, minor things. Um, now I developed the the two characters like Jack and the piano player. I I created I, the way I wrote the script. I wanted to make sure I could hide half of them behind things, so you well, didn't have too much to animate. Right. <laughs> I'm always thinking of you, man. Or I guess well, me. I guess I'm going to be animating too. Well, you remember, this this isn't for work. This is this for play. We we don't need it. We don't necessarily have to cut corners. Um, Should you be saying that out loud? <laughs> well, you have to cut corners for work. There's, I mean, yes, right. You're in a time frame, and you have to get yeah. things done yeah. quickly. I mean, we got to come for work. We got to do a, usually a, a three and a half minute animation in really less than two weeks. And I mean, if you ask any other animator, that's that's a tough job yeah but um anyways i digress let's um go on back to so yeah um we don't necessarily have to cut corners we can make things easier on this but we don't have to cut corners like the the piano player obviously he'd be hiding behind the main body of the piano but i'm thinking one it doesn't have to be a human form what if this guy this piano player has multiple arms or or tentacles Okay, he's, like a, he's a Cthulhu piano player. Yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. Um, let me uh, go ahead and uh, let me change this. But I'm, I've opened up the, um, the script. Okay. So you want to do sort of an intro. So would you want it just right on him, like, the minute it starts, or or would you want to like start from the sky and kind of pan down to him walking in the street? What? Who? What if? 
hey, China, what if we we actually pan down? Maybe he's at a um, maybe he's kind of standing here at a. a because it seems a little jarring if you just start right on him, like boom. Yeah. There he is. So we, we this is I mean a horrible sketch, but we can pan down and he actually be under here, under this street lamp, right? The street light. That <laughs> keeps pole dancing or something. Yeah. <laughs> but but say we we pan down, he's at the street light, right? Uh huh. And then um, he can start his narration here. The name's Hudson Grimes. I'm a I'm a PI. Blah 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 blah. You know whatever. And then we cut to a mid shot of him of him doing his walk, and in the background we have we're doing a little scroll scrolling background. Okay, so you guys, what's happening right now is Benny is jumping from script right into storyboards. Uh, no, thumbnails. This is just well, thumbnails, thumbnails and storyboards are pretty much the same thing, right? Well, this is this is brainstorming. I mean, once once we actually get to thumb uh, storyboards, I mean, th it'll be a lot more <coughs> telling involved. But I'm I'm just visualizing what I'm thinking. So, but anyways, yeah, we can pan down, show you know, and maybe we're at like a. We see like the 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 cityscape, right? It's, it's a very creative cityscape with a, a weird sky or something. Pans down, shows a street light come in, and you know comes into shadow. But we got the street light, and we show Grimes here, maybe smoking a cigarette, and uh, you know begins his begins his narration. Then we cut to mid shot of him walking. And down. Maybe it starts right here at the. Maybe here's the street light here. Light. So I'm thinking we're going to need voice actor, at least four, um, or two who can do several voices. We're going to need some. Uh, Royalty-free piano music. <clears throat> you got that. Do you? Like 1940s-style piano music? 1930s? We've got this one. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll move it. <laughs> <laughs> I will look for something. Um, yeah. But that, you know, music and um, the audio tracks, that all comes... A little bit later but i you know i know you're just kind of yeah uh, coming up with uh your basic right thoughts of what you want to do. so but no we've we've got our four characters established i mean basically established um and so i was uh i was just get rid of this here sorry is, is that me i don't know So I wanted, so I want this this female character, the dame, to be considerably taller than than Grimes, right? And this this probably isn't even going to be anywhere close to what we come up with because I don't I never like to stick to my my first design. Let me just look see what it's okay. I'm just, I'm getting blown up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, all right, I just look at Head Ninja, see what, what he's doing. So Head Ninja did send in a comment about uh, his his character. Yeah. Let's cover that real quick. Um, so maybe, I feel like a, a like a puppeteer or something with all these screens. Um, <laughs> That's not what I want. Hold on. I was trying to avoid that. Is that your mouse that I hear? All that clicking? Yeah. <laughs> it was like a 1980s mouse. 
So um, I'm not sure if Head Ninja is going to jump in. I did give him the link, but he said while – oh, there he is. Hey, hey. Hold on, hold on. Let me, get, let me get him all set up here. So where, where I got to wait for the host to set, to uh, invite me in. No, you're you're in. You're in. Right? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this picture was just something I was messing with while I was uh, listening to y'all's show. I didn't really put a whole lot of thought into what I was gonna do with it yet. Okay. It's very nice. So you you weren't you weren't necessarily thinking, oh, I'm gonna do this uh, character for uh, their idea. Um, not necessarily. Okay. It was just it was just uh, an experiment. <laughs> It's, it's very nicely done. Do you have a name for this character? Uh, not yet. I'm just going to make a little script for a second. So what, what, what was the, did it just come to you and you just, was it just one of those artistic, uh, just, you know how you sometimes you just go and it just comes out or did you kind of already have this in mind or i kind of already had it in mind okay she looks it, it almost reminds me of like uh like kung fu action um like that that those old cool kung fu movies yeah um more Cross like, with, like Ranma one half. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like me some Rama in the old days. I read the I read uh, most of the mangas. Yeah, I I always wanted to read the mangas. I always um, I have all the box sets of the the anime, okay. but um, I never got a chance to read the actual mangas. But yeah, they're good. I love those. But uh, I want to thank you um, for always sending. You're always sending art our way. And you're always very supportive of the show, so um, I thought it was really cool that you did this. I wanted to yeah. learn more about your character. <laughs> but uh, and if if this character doesn't have a home, it, you know, and you want to have her for her first appearance be in the, in our animation, we could do something like that. That'd be pretty nice. A little still image of her back in the bar, sitting in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking. <laughs> there you go. Drinking sake. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, we can definitely put something in there. Yeah, oh, okay. All hey. right. All right, man. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks, for thanks for the thanks for the invite, so I can kind of explain myself a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll, I'll send you an invite anytime you want. Thank you. Love to have you on the show. All right, man. Take it easy. Yep. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have some others pop in every once in a while. I mean, it'll uh, take some time away from the actual progress, but you know what? Hey, okay. it's all, you know that's that's, yeah, you, said that, that you said that was part of what you were kind of wanting to yep. do is to have people yeah. come in, maybe bring in, bring in a character of their own, and you yeah, know. Yeah. Make it, kind of a, a group project and if we can uh you know get some other people's artwork uh seen that's great oh absolutely i'll put a link to i i don't have it in there right now but i'll have a link to uh head ninja's youtube channel so you can see more of his artwork he's a really cool guy he's so, always doing awesome work so jason let me let me ask you uh, let's let's focus on the, the day yeah, let's get back to work i know <laughs> Dame. Um, before I do any more sketching, I, I like to, if we have a, an established character, uh, I want to figure out who this person is first. Um, so obviously female, um, are we, is she going to be more alien? Will she have some alien aspects or should she be, um, human, deceased human? And if she's, you know, obviously she, I think being in new purgatory everyone's going to be deceased so i got a question for you benny before we start talking about this because yeah. so my question for you is 
how do you perceive, because you, you definitely have some ideas of how you want this to go. Like is purgatory humans that have passed away or is there like demons there, there too? Or is there, is there supernatural entities, I guess. Is what I, I, think, I think just to have some fun with it. Uh, yeah, there's going to, I think there should be a super, obviously a supernatural element. I don't think there's going to be demons or angels because it's not heaven or hell. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a limbo waiting area, right? I mean, if, if, if we're kind of going to go off of what purgatory, uh, you know, um, theoretically is, is yeah, like but... a waiting area, but, uh, you know, new purg can, I mean, I think, I think there can be alien creatures, human creatures, you know, whatever. But the the main theme is they are they have all been deceased. They're all deceased. Okay. So I'm thinking. Oh, okay. So <laughs> what? <laughs> Dame, right? So yeah. she goes up to sing, and she's like all this just god awful noise comes out, right? Why? Why? Maybe maybe she hung herself. So that's why she, she she might have like a like a, a rope burn or something around her neck or something, uh, which is why she can't sing. Maybe maybe in her physical life she was a singer. Um, I don't know. Just a thought. I like that. You know, it, it might not be explained, but it might show that maybe her neck is slit or maybe she's got. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely be a reason for that. I just it was more of a gag. Or like maybe they're the noose. Um, or, or it's it's a flowing scarf, but it's tied tight around her neck that she used to hang herself. <laughs> <laughs> this is like when you call it dark comedy. <laughs> well, I mean they're all dead. <laughs> yeah, but... I kind of want to. I want to. I want to take from you know that end scene of Beetlejuice where it shows all of all the the different dead characters and like the, it all shows how they died. Yeah. So, um, scarf strangled. I don't know. So I mean, this super tall. <laughs> I, I think I might want her taller. I might. So she's gonna be way taller than our, yeah, our hero. Yeah, but I'm, I mean, at least this tall. But I mean, oh, I like that. I like that. That uh, I like that length right there. She almost looks like. Well, I, it's. I was gonna say like a snake woman, but. Um, well, <clears throat> I'm. I'm just. Doing... I just jotted this out just so we can have something to play with just to start off with. I mean, it, she might not even look like this at all. And I mean, again, this is just a scribble. But um, so female, is she gonna be alien? I don't know. Let's, you know, let's not, I don't want her to be alien. Because that would get, no. No alien. No alien. But she is taller. Um, what would she be wearing? Something, I mean, kind of provocative, because in those old film noir shows that the female, you know, client always came in and almost, almost to try to seduce the uh, the private investigator. Yeah, let's see if I can find a. You know what? You know what? I'm, I'm gonna watch it tonight. Uh, a movie, a really good movie uh, that would kind of that could you you know inspire us for this is a, it's a movie called Give Him Hell Malone. Never heard of that one. It's it's a it's a film noir PI type type movie. It's with uh, Thomas Jane. He was the one that played the Punisher. Um. Okay. Uh, with the John Travolta movie. 
But um, I'm going to see who. Who. Let me see if I can't. Give them. Hell, my mom. We've got. Um, oh, do you have that on there? Yeah, so. This, so this images from Give Him Hell Malone. Oh, as I throw mine up. <laughs> <laughs> so something like this. Hold on, let me. Or you, or you already have your what you want. No, I don't have what I want. What were you looking at? I can't see what you have there. Oh, you can't see this. Hold on. Oh, you can't. Hold on. <clears throat> So those of you that are watching, if you were hoping to see a lot of drawing today, you're probably not going to. This is brainstorming today. Uh, we'll draw. We'll get some drawing done. A little bit. In uh, the next 30 minutes. Can you see now? Um, no. I can't see yours. Mm. Yours is like off in the little corner. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 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 What if I brought her hips out a little more? Brought the waist in. Let's... There we go. I'm gonna change that color like so. All right, bring that down. So, let's do this. So she, we want the hourglass shape. Thin waist, wide hips. And and a scarf. Let's see. Bring up that image again. I want to see the dress again. Okay. Second. There we go. <clears throat> okay, there we go. So she's got this slit right here. Bring that, bring that in like that, her neck. <laughs> and I got to, I'm, I'm having to switch because for work I'm, I'm drawing like realistic. Where'd you go? Oh, I'm drawing realistic for work. So I have to like really concentrate on keeping a cartoony feel to this. <laughs> you keep shifting back from realistic to yeah. cartoony. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> that is difficult. All right. So let's. You know what? I want to. I want to bring her neck. I want to have a long neck. So let's take this head and move it up. There we go. That way, it's giving her length, but we can really focus on. this this scarf around her neck so it's going to come out like this uh, let's bring that up actually so let's stretch march here she got it there maybe it flows back this way is that like a charcoal pencil? Uh, you know what? This is um, it's a custom brush that Aaron Blaze uses. 
And for no, those of you who do not know who Aaron Blaze is, he's a fantastic animator. He used to work for Disney. Um, did a lot of work on The Lion King, Aladdin. He co-directed Brother Bear. Um, but yeah, this is this is his custom brush. Uh, just, you know, I, I like it because it's bulky and it forces me uh, not to focus on detail right away. All right. I'm going to see if I can open up Photoshop so I can do a little something before the stream ends. But I did re I did retouch up the uh, script. So we're all good on the script. Okay. Um, I will. I'm going to add in the head ninja's character in there as well. Uh, you know, just just hold off. We'll we'll go and throw that. We'll, we'll I want to talk. We'll talk to him a little more about it first. But um, we'll we'll throw that character just somewhere. You don't have to say anything. It'll just be a background character because we're, in the bar we're going to have a lot of background characters. Or it can be a character that scrolls by as as he's walking out uh, outside. Okay, I think that's the basic shape I want. Let me know if the uh, if the feed starts getting a little bit chalky as I open up Photoshop. That you know that I think I want to go a little. I want to push it more. I want to push this more so that here. I want that to be really tight around the neck, just like that. Yeah. That way, we got that knot right there. Whoa. There. I'm just going to hide my face right now. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Gotta have pouty lips, maybe. I don't like those lips. No. So, what are you thinking, though, Jason? Uh, regarding anything? Huh? What am what I thinking? You, so far, so far, her. So far, I like it. Yeah. Okay. Now, now we got definitely got the feel of the uh, on her. Super tall lady. Yeah, so wait, but, is she tall or is uh, Hudson Grimes just super short? <clears throat> like she's average size, but yeah, you know, he, no, I think he's probably average, if not a little smaller than average. But you know, in this in this setting, what's average? Because we have, we're, if we go with the the mixture of alien, human, I thought, you know, dead I spirit. Thought we're I thought we we're not going to do alien. No, no, no. For her. Oh. For her. Because I, I really want the piano player to have, like, either multiple arms or tentacles. And I think tentacles would be really neat. That would be a challenge. <laughs> so, all right. And she's got big hair. Uh... I think long hair. Probably, I, I, I like the... Uh, super skinny, it looks like. Yeah. I like this, where it's kind of flipped over to one side, the majority of it. And I, I want... Let's see. I don't want it... I kind of want it to be kind of just real stylized, where it's not like hair strands, but like solid shape. Kind of like that. Or, let's see here. I like this here. And here. And maybe even... Coming over her shoulder. 
on top of her uh, her bosom. Maybe something like that. And maybe the hair when we when we do the color and animation, maybe the hair can be almost um, translucent. Flow, you know, real flowing and translucent. I'm, I'm thinking maybe like a, a translucent blue, like a light, light blue. And we blue. might be able to... Okay, yeah, that's because she's alien. Or, or she's... Oh, like... no, she's spirit, ethereal. Right. And do you want big eyes? Big eyes with the sultry... Yeah, big, thick eyelashes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure I like that. I'm really, what I'm looking for right now is just kind of shape, not necessarily shape of the eyes, but shape of the overall feel. I'm gonna bring them down a little bit. There we go. There we go. Not so large. Don't like this. So I think that's probably gonna be our general shape there. I like that shape. Maybe maybe work out some detail. I to... <laughs> gave her these big honking toes coming out of her her dress. <laughs> what are those? No, gross. <laughs> she's gonna have she's gonna have some little petite feet if we show them. Ooh, you know what? What if instead of her walking, what if she glided, being in the spirit room? What if she kind of glided? You kind of just had this little, like a, what's that? A little wave, like a, so maybe. Ted Ninja's got a comment. He, yeah. My character is based on a samurai, so make her short. <laughs> there you go. We'll throw her in the background somewhere. Yeah, so, so that would be neat to have her float. Yeah, so maybe she got this little tail, which I don't like this right now, but the idea I like where it's... Uh... It kind of kind of has the same feel as the, the hair. And her little tail kind of... No gelatinous blobs. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I'll, I'll work on the shape a little bit, but I think, I think that if that's the case, do we want that slit. How do we do that slit? In the, in the dress. Because I, I want that slit. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, like the slit in the dress, you think we should just have it fade down here or or should we work it into Well, does the dra does the dress turn kind of fade into smoke? I wouldn't say smoke, but kind of uh, what, what if What if did that? Okay, we'll, we'll play with this. Other hand there. Okay, and then while she's while she's gliding, her her scarf kind of her death scarf kind of glides in the wind here. And it'll have the same gelatinous or the you know blobs kind of. Something like that. That's when she's moving. But as far as design goes right now, 
that doesn't fit because her hair isn't flowing and I like her hair just hanging like that right now. So, all right, so that's a basic idea for the dame. Uh, what about the piano player? Let's play around with some ideas for the piano player. Um, Idea. I don't like that. Nope. Okay. Now, don't want to repeat his shape. I'm kind of hunched over a little bit like this. So. Here and he'd have his piano here, his keys here. And here's our little makeshift piano, and he's sitting on this thing here. All right, so. Do we want this shape here? The guy in To Have and Have Not, the piano player, he was pretty thin, wasn't he? He was a thin guy. Right? Can you hear me? Jason? Are you there? Can you not hear me? I couldn't hear you. Oh, when I turn, okay. I just realized something. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. All right. I turned off my screen, my yeah. face, but I didn't realize that was my mic as well. Yeah, to, to have and have not guy was very, very skinny. Yeah. Give this wow, I've been here. saying all kinds of stuff, too, and no one could hear me. <laughs> well, I'm oh, learning. I'm learning. It was like so. last week we did a, I did a share screen, mm -hmm. and while I share screened, we couldn't hear anything because, because of the, I basically changed the entire screen to just the share screen by itself without our voice, without us. Yeah. And that's how they hear us. Yeah. So, hey, you know. Hey, I got to step away just for a second, okay? I got to check something in the oven. Oh, okay. Keep them entertained. I will do my best. <laughs> okay. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Let's see the comments. What's going on in the comments? Head ninjas up here. So this is what we call brainstorming. A lot of this I do in my head. Um, doesn't mean it's always the best way to do it because, you know, I kind of get, I, I have something in my head and then I don't really go past that. And Benny's more, it sounds like he's more, he's, he's more open to figuring it out as we go. What's that? Oh, I was just telling us, uh, talking about our different processes. And I was saying that when it comes to like uh, character concepts and stuff, I do a lot of that, a lot of it just in my head. So by the time I'm actually going down on the paper, I already have something in my head. 
and I always wanted to try and make that happen. And I'm just saying, I don't know if that's a good way to do it because, you know, then I'm stuck in my ways where you are more open to kind of fleshing it out on paper and well, figuring it out. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think it's fleshing it out. You know, I mean, it's, I like to visualize my ideas while I'm thinking about them. But, um, like, I don't know, like my piano player here, I don't like him. But, because I, oh, I, don't want to, I love it. I like his pompadour. Yeah, I, I don't want to do, I don't want to do hands. I want to do tentacles. Oh, that's right. Because, yeah. So, but, I mean, at this stage, I, if I if I sketch it out, I'm able to see it and see what I like or don't like. Oh. As opposed to just, hey, this is in my head. I've already got it visualized. Um, I mean, it's always good to have something visualized in your head and then do it. But if we gave him tentacles. I don't know. It's something to work with. Am I? Mm, I don't like that either. I don't like the tentacle idea. So, now, here's the thing I'm thinking about also is, look, we have Hudson Grimes, he's thin. We have the Dame who's thin. And right now I'm making the piano player thin. I want some variety. So. I guess they don't really gain too much weight when you're dead. Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> what if one of these guys all, you know, they eat like tons of ectoplasm or something? I don't know. Yeah. But, but no, they, they've they taken the form of when they died, right? So. Sort of. Oh, yeah, when they died. I gotcha. So being a piano player, he's sitting a lot, doesn't get a lot of exercise. So why don't we, uh, what if, and. Excuse my lousy piano here, but I've never drawn a piano. I'll have to do some research. Um, let's take that body out. I like the head shape. Let's see. What if, what if he's got these humongous, like, meat sausage hands playing piano? <laughs> I don't like that. Meat face. sausage hands. <laughs> I don't like this shape. E. So, how did the piano player die? Let's think, let's think of how the piano player died first. Maybe it, the piano fell on him. While he's playing it? Come no. On. He's a piano player, but then he... No, no, I'm, got into a fight with, a, with somebody, and I don't know. Oh, man, now he looks like a schmoo. What's a schmoo? Oh, it looks like the guy from uh, Return of the Jedi. A job is power. Oh. oh yeah, with the didn't he have a snout? Yeah. Yeah. You don't know what a schmoo is? Come on, Jason. Let's see here. How do you smell schmoo? <laughs> the schmoo. Oh, from that old cartoon. What is yeah. that with the girls? Um, right? really the... No, wait a minute, man. I'm thinking of Captain Caveman. <laughs> you know, it didn't. What was that? Um, the Hanna Barbera cartoon um, with the family. They had these two blobs. I thought those were schmooze, too. Mm. And they had. Well, you're thinking of the Herculoids. The Herculoids, yeah. What were those blobs, those little white blobs called? Fluke and Gleep. Yeah, but what were they? Were they schmooze? 
No, those were just, they didn't say what they were. They just had names. <laughs> Gloop and Gleep. Anyway, I don't like this either. Like, we don't know, like, they don't, like, talk about what any of those guys are. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Not at all. The Herculoids, yeah. Love the Herculoids. Love, love them. All right, so let's think. You know, fell on his head. Oh, I think we got it. Got we got it here. The head ninja's got it figured out. Okay, piano fell on his head. head. We're getting into some who frame. <laughs> 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 yeah, we can. yeah, I guess you're right. All right. Suddenly now, <laughs> it doesn't seem like such a funny idea. <laughs> oh, here we go. So, we don't necessarily, when he's playing piano, we don't necessarily have to animate him, you know, doing the keys, right? Right. But maybe... Oh, that wouldn't be how he died, though. Because I was thinking maybe we could, like, you know how they have the, the key covers on the pianos? And what if, what if they, in, in his living life, what led up to his death somehow? I don't know. I'm not liking this now that I think about it, but the, the key cover <laughs> hanging down on his finger. So while, while he's playing, you don't see his hands, right? But at some point, he lifts his hands, and his fingers are all bent out of shape because they that piano. I don't know. So now he can't play piano. Nah, he can play piano. He's a ghost. <laughs> yeah, just scratch that idea. Hmm. How did the piano player die? <laughs> that, that's 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 like a nursery rhyme. <laughs> or, How or, did the piano player die? Clap your yeah, hands and we'll go find him. I don't know. <laughs> that's the that's what he's trying to figure out. The Grimes. How did the piano How player How did the piano player die? One, two, three. You're it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or should it that's should it be like a stand up piano? How about the kind of they like that play by themselves. Do, 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 do. I think maybe it would be a stand up piano. I don't know. Maybe he's got this emo haircut. I don't know. I don't know. Why don't we just make him like a regular, regular guy? Like, oh, you want the tentacles? No, I, I don't know. No, make, him, make him as regular looking as possible, but he has tentacles. Like the tentacles are the, are the big caricature. Yeah, right? yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Um, let's shrink that up. Get that out of the way. Shrink it up. Boom, 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 boom. So Sorry. let's just. Let's say he's not sitting on the piano play at the piano right now. Let's just get a basic shape idea. Then we can figure out how he's gonna. Okay, so I want to keep away from these head shapes. So let's do this. I want this here? And kind of want him to. I mean, if we were to see through, his neck would be hunched over a little bit. All right, we're going to have to wrap it up pretty quick here because we're on the hour. Yeah. So well, we can pick this up next time. Should we give him one? No. No. So tell you what, everyone's got some homework. Everyone send us your idea of what the piano player should look like. And how he died. How did the piano player die? I like this face though. I like this. Uh, so far, what we're what I got for the face. 
So, all right. Eh, it's about time to feed my family. <laughs> Do they have to wait till after the show's over every time? Yeah. Well, it's about time I pull something out of the oven. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> all right, you guys. So, uh, Benny, you want to tell them where they can find you? At home. All right. So, links in the description if you want to take a look at Benny Jordan's artwork. Oh, I should probably put on a... Let's see. Where am I at? I'm somewhere. Let's turn that off. There we go. Uh, <laughs> absolutely, Head Ninja. Thank you for coming on. Uh, send us... Draw, draw some... Draw a piano man, and uh, we'll have you on next time, too. Share it. Um, but thank you, guys. Feel free to DM me, email me, send me your piano man, or whatever you're working on. You got some concept designs. Uh, maybe there are characters that you want to – we can put into the background of this uh, this bar, or whatever we're going to be putting them in. Um, we'd love to see what you guys are doing, too. But we'll be back next week with probably a little bit more – concept but then we're gonna be moving into uh i think kind of the uh, thumbnails and uh storyboards yeah i mean once we get past the thumbnail i mean uh, the concept phase we've got a lot of concepts to work on a lot of designing to work on but this is for me this is the fun part i mean we're just throwing out ideas and getting them on paper whether they work or not yeah it's not the fun part for me but I like to, <laughs> but you know what, that is what makes all different artists, right? You know, everybody has, you know, their, their strengths and, and Benny's got a lot of strengths in, in every part of the process of doing animation. That's why he's so good at it. Well, I'm, I'm here to learn. I have a lot of flaws too. You know, we, people watching, they're going to see a lot of bad drawings before we get to a lot of good drawings, a lot of bad animation before we get to good animation. I don't know. I think everything you do is awesome. But. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Oh. <laughs> well, you guys, thanks for joining us. We will see you next week. Also, be here Friday at 4 p.m. Uh, PST time. Uh, me and Benny. Uh, Benny, you coming? When? Uh, next Friday. You know what? Um, it's going to be up in the air because I have to pick my daughter up from camp. And then because we're a single family, single car family now. I may have to pick my wife up from work, and she gets off at four. All right, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Okay, so maybe Benny will be here, but if you if if not, it'll it'll, it'll be me at least. We're gonna be doing our live drawing stream. Uh, I'll have my Friday drink ready, probably orange juice, and then uh, we'll just be hanging out for an hour. So you guys, thank you for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave comments below, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys at the next one. Peace. And make sure to check out the Patreon. Just want to thank everybody for watching it all the way to this point. If you can, like, share, subscribe, comment below. Alright guys, have a good one.